Okay, so the next carbon pencil we are going to take a look at are a brand that, um, it's a brand that I've been wanting to check out for several years. I've heard about it from other artists and um, I had never used them before. So I purchased a four pack of the Wolf carbon pencil and I want to show you the difference of these pencils down below. So let's take a look at the um, hand cam. So the big difference again between your charcoal pencil and the carbon pencil so this is a generals 4b soft pencil <clears throat> this pack came with um, a 2b b 4b and 6b so i'm going to get out the 4b it looks like that's broken um, but the big difference is that your Charcoal pencil is going to be able to break easily. It is a very soft tip, so it gets pretty wide pretty quickly. Your carbon pencil is harder, so it is composed of lamp black and clay. So it did break just a little bit there with a little bit of pressure, but generally speaking, when I put harder pressure on it, it doesn't break very easily. So it's going to give you a little bit more rigidity and control um, think of it like the carbon pencil gives you the control of a graphite pencil, but the blackness of a, car of a charcoal pencil. <clears throat> so then let's take a look. I've got to get all those carbon pieces off or they'll start dusting up everything. <clears throat> let's take a look at the value scale. You can see there isn't much of a difference between the 6B, 4B, 2B and B when I was putting equal pressure on it. And um, I drew this with the 6B, this pair. I liked it, but carbon is not my favorite because you can see, especially with a more textured paper, it does become very speckly in nature. And I just don't, um, that texture doesn't appeal to me quite as much. And just for contrast here, I wanted to show you the pair that I drew. This is with the Wolf the Wolf's carbon pencil. And this one is with the Statler um, Mars Lumograph Black. So this is supposedly a carbon pencil, but look at that big difference. This one is very speckly and even a bluer black in nature. And this one has almost just a tiny bit of that sheen that you're gonna get from um, a graphite pencil. So. It might actually be that the um, Mars Lumograph Black is part graphite, part carbon, I'm not sure. It doesn't look to be quite as carbony as the Wolf's carbon pencils. So um, the value, this was just a little bit, I think under or over $10, so right around $10. I thought it was an okay value, but again, it's a texture thing. I'm not really as, um, much of a fan of the carbon pencils as I am of the graphite pencil. It's sort of my old familiar place. Um, it's what I started with. I hope that this will, the graphite pencil is what I end with when I'm in my whatever years I am when I pass away. So the graphite pencils are always gonna be my first love. The carbon pencils are okay. I think if I had to choose between the Wolf's carbon pencils and the Statler Mars Lumograph carbon, I would go with the Statler. Um, I liked the, the range of those and the look of those a little bit better. So another type for you guys to try out. Let me know if you have any comments uh, down in the comment section below or questions, and I hope that helps you guys out. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, LZM Studio, where I frequently release quick tips and all kinds of different ideas about drawing. Also check out my Facebook and my Instagram page. I like to show um, photographs of my artwork, of my students' artwork, and share funny stories from my students on those pages. And then check out my website, lzmstudio.com, where you're going to find more inspiration and um, full-length, detailed tutorials.